Okay. Good morning, dance geeks. So today is a new week with a new dance exercise to recondition our body for when we can dance together again. And so I hope you guys enjoyed the foot and shin exercises. And then today we're going to work on our inner thigh muscles, also known as the adductor group. So if you remember from, if you guys danced with me at Studio 9, the abductors are the muscles that will take your leg from here to outwards and your adductors brings your leg back in so literally it is the inner thigh group so it's simple exercise but sometimes we forget about it because i forgot about it forever the thing is actually being really good right now so hopefully it stays that way you want to try to be as much on your side as possible you can start with your your one leg behind you with your toe raised or you can have a flat whatever you're more comfortable with but in order for me to stay up I need to be on my toes, like this, essentially, but behind. Come here. I know. So now what we're going to do is we're going to simply think of reaching out from our heel and lifting. So we're going to go one and down and two and down and three. You're activating your core. Four and five and six and seven and eight and nine and ten and then if you want you can keep going um let's do for me i'll do 15 11 12 13 14 15 and then we're going to do so you can take your foot bring it in front okay and then this time we're going to do it with a pointy toe one reach your toe two three four five Six, seven, eight, whew, nine, you should really be able to feel it right in here. 10, 11, 12, 13, mm -hmm. trouble, 14, 15, and rest. Oh my, oh my gosh, tiring. All right, and my son's getting into stuff. You can't eat that, no. All right, other side, flex foot first, and we lift one, and two, and three, and four, five, and six and seven eight so you don't plop it down nine ten with eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and fifteen and then bring your foot in front again still activating the core we go point your toes one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, oh my gosh, 13, oh yeah, 14, oh yeah, 15, huh. oh. wow, that's tiring, okay, and then of course you want to stretch it out afterwards, so you need to do a straddle stretch, legs apart, here, and you're going to stretch forward, all right, so a nice straddle stretch, this way to stretch out those adductors. And then of course, you can do another set. So for your second set, if you find it too intense, bring it down a little bit. So instead of doing 15 in front and 15 behind, do 10, all right? And then gradually build your way up. Do it like three to four times this week, but you do wanna make sure that you stretch. And all of these these weekly challenges, guys, are things that, and if you can't incorporate it into your weekly conditioning exercises, because it is good for your body, um, I've noticed definitely a huge difference with my quads and my, and like, well, my legs in general with the muscles tone and you do definitely want to re-strengthen those muscles that when we get back into studio we don't collapse yeah he's been really good today i'm really surprised it's because he got toys but normally even though he has toys he kind of wants to be like i want mommy's attention or he's just <laughs> the the my papa, that's not your bottle. This kid eats everything. Go, go, music. No, no, ta ta. No, music. No, yaki. Are you hungry for breakfast? You just had an eye. Anywho, so hope you guys had a fantastic week. Until next week, guys, we'll see you. Oh, by the way, 
I am having, um, I'm co-coordinating a big launch this week, so please stay tuned for that. There is a dance-ish element to it, and I would love if you guys could support. I miss you guys. Love you guys. Bye. Can you say bye? Bye. Bye. <laughs> He's like, I'm going to dance. You're going to fall. Hey, you know what? This makes a good ballet bar. Yeah, this will make a good ballet bar. We'll do crib ballet bar. Crib bar. Yeah, you want to do it too, honey. Yeah? Yeah?